Oregon history runs deep across the varied landscapes of our state, and often that history holds stories that have fascinating characters with intriguing tales to tell. Hi there, Grant McComey here, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. And this week we explore some of those stories and some of those intriguing characters at a place you've likely missed. Join me as we stroll through some of Oregon's pioneer cemeteries, what I like to call windows on the past. Lone Fir Cemetery is as much a celebration of life as it is a final resting site. This cemetery was established before the state of Oregon was a state. Mayors, politicians, policemen, firemen, uh, criminals, <laughs> pioneers that came over from the east to the west here. It's a pioneer cemetery in the middle of Oregon's largest city and it recently made big news when National Geographic announced it's one of the top 10 cemeteries in the world. Dating to 1846, it boasts remarkable ornate architecture, gigantic trees, and famous people. That combination of everything, it makes it very unique, very special. Lone Fir Cemetery holds on to its heritage in unique fashion. Our keynote cemetery right here, it's a 30-acre arboretum and it's well-loved by the community. Rachel Fox works for Metro, who manages the park-like setting. She says the site wasn't always so rich with natural beauty. More than a century ago, it was largely barren, just a scattering of trees, including the namesake Doug Fir, that's now 150 years old. Boy, have times changed. Unique variety of trees and habitat within the cemetery. It actually serves as a community park, and it's just culturally diverse with art and architecture and the folks that are buried here. It really, I call this place the family album of Portland. That's what sets us apart. This is a place to come and feel comfortable. And even though that this is a place set aside for remembrance and there's death here, it's full of life and it's a comfortable, warm place to visit. They give the whole long history of the community, the surrounding community, so it's very local history. There are more than 750 local pioneer cemeteries in Oregon, according to State Park's Curry Gill. Many, like Washington County's small Harrison Pioneer Cemetery, have volunteers like Judy Goldman who take care of them. We kind of encourage people to do that in a friendly <laughs> uh, way with good stewardship to really go out and be in the cemeteries. In the city, you can take long walks and enjoy the nature within the city in your cemeteries. Of course, just be respectful when you're there, but it's great to have people there for those reasons because it protects them for vandalism. Judy has no family here, but she's been tending the site for over 30 years, and she's proud to take care of the past. To preserve it and to make it known that there were these people who came way before we did and, and made the um, foundations of what we, we now have the pleasure of living on this beautiful land. And, just off Stafford Road in Lake Oswego, the Oswego Pioneer Cemetery is a beautiful hillside setting. But when you dig a bit deeper, discover a story you've likely never heard. They had the water power, they had forests for charcoal, they used charcoal fuel, and they had the iron. The Oswego Pioneer was once a company cemetery, part of a company town. They hired workers from across the country who worked at this so-called iron plantation right next to the Willamette River. They owned the post office, they owned the company store, they built cottages for their workers, they platted neighborhoods, they operated the cemetery for some 42 years. They mined the ore and then smelted it down to cast pipes that delivered bull run water to Portland residents. The mining work was dark, dirty, and dangerous. They had almost zero safety equipment and it was very hard work, 12 hour shifts. The furnace ran around the clock so there were people on a night shift. You don't turn off something that's 2800 degrees and then relight it in the morning and expect it to get up to full temperature. A new heritage trail links important industrial sites from those days with the Oswego Pioneer Cemetery, where 90 iron workers were buried. And soon, information plaques will tell this largely unknown story. In fact, you can check out an original iron foundry furnace, too. It rests intact and restored by local folks at George Rogers Park in Lake Oswego.
The furnace is there in the stack for the furnace, which has gone, undergone a recent uh, rehab and uh, restoration. How unique and significant uh, all of this is as a cultural resource, uh, not just for the uh, Lake Oswego area itself, but the state as a whole, and actually how significant it was as part of the entire westward movement. It's unique, it's one of a kind. That's the nature of Oregon's pioneer cemeteries. Each has unique stories to tell, and they're open for you to visit anytime. Oregon State Park managers ask that when you visit, be a good steward and become a fan. Visit the cemeteries in your community, and if you see vandalism, report it. And be sure to check out the information about Lone Fir Cemetery's famous Halloween night events coming up soon. The cemetery will be lit up at night from 6 to 10, and more than 100 volunteers will offer guided tours across the Lone Fir grounds. It promises to be a popular and historic event. We've got all the details, directions, and contact information right here on the Travel Oregon website. So until next week, get out here and explore the great Oregon outdoors, and let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.